Hello, my name is Robert here at Super Swap Company. I want to make this video to introduce the best on the case swap kit ever made. Now I'm talking about a transmission swap. This kit is to install a General Motors Chevy automatic transmission front wheel drive automatic transmission to a K-series engine. So I want to run you through the parts in the kit and show you my car that has this kit installed in it. It's the only one in the whole country, probably in the whole world. And now it's actually available for everybody, racing team or uh, Honda enthusiast, a car builder that wants to install automatic transmission in their case swap. Let's get started. So first I'll show you a mock-up of the transmission on a K-series engine that I have here. This is just a rough mock-up. This is a K-series engine 2.4 2 TSX engine. So you can see how large this transmission is. We're talking about a 4T65E. Everybody knows what those General Motors transmissions are probably. They're a dime a dozen. There's millions of them. They're cheap. They're all over in the salvage yard and they are tough and they are strong and they will run 600 horsepower for a long time in a small import car. So this is what it looks like and all the engine adapter plate the flywheel is all custom made for this swap so I'm anxious to show you what comes in the kit enables you to simply build a case swap with a automatic General Motors heavy-duty transmission in it just as easy as any other case swap so here we have laid out on the table Everything that comes with this kit, of course, you understand, you have to have an adapter plate that I have made right here in my own shop at Super Swap Racing. This is a CNC machine that I purchased a year ago to make my own parts for a lot of transmission swaps. Starting with the engine adapter plate. This is built for K-Series to a 4T65E automatic transmission. The engine remains at a 16 degree angle just like it comes from the factory in a, in a Honda K-Series vehicle. This is the starter plate, starter bracket that mounts roughly like that. Two of the transmission bolts for the transmission bolts actually hold the starter bracket. The big part of the uh, build is nobody's in the whole world has ever made a uh, flex plate. I call it a flex hub. It's very thick. It's almost an inch thick of aluminum with a steel starter ring on it to uh, install the torque converter onto the crankshaft of K-Series engine. So here you, here you have a custom aluminum flywheel eight mount bolts they're hard to find nobody in the world makes an eight out eight twelve by one hundred thread but I found some these are uh, comes complete with all the mounting hardware for the transmission and the engine the bolt to the engine uses these actually repurposed wheel studs that bolt down here into the Honda block let's move on all of the parts you need to do this are here to build the drivetrain. We have a side transmission mount. We have the rear transmission mount I call the uh, launch mount. It's right in the middle in the back of the vehicle. This is the end transmission mount. Look how heavy duty these parts are. They're all 3 steel. These are two weld plates, a mount plate for the rear launch mount. A weld plate for the one and only notch. You have to cut one notch in the cross member of the car. That's all. 
for a big transmission swap, that's nothing. And this is contoured to fit when you're done grinding and cutting enough, and this fits. As you can see, it's contoured. Then you know that you properly installed that. You've done a big enough notch, and you weld that plate in. Look at these. These are the star of the show. These are huge, huge axles for this kit. Who knows how much horsepower these will hold, 600, 7, 800, it, it, it just spins the tires before these will ever break. These are massive. Look how big these are. These are General Motors hubs that have been machined and repurposed to make a 4-100 pattern and you thread it for wheel studs. You run wheel studs. So these have been machined to fit the hub of a 1997 Civic, just use a stock wheel bearing. That's what you need to run these axles is all. You need these uh, custom-made Chevy hubs, General Motor hubs. Look at the size of that. Those are biggest axles you've ever seen on a Honda. That's, that's never going to break. These are a bonus. These are worth their weight in gold. I'm running a B&M ratchet shifter. I love it in my car. If you do, these are... B&M ratchet shifter cable mounts for the transmission. Worth the weight in gold. That's a bonus. If you run that transmission shifter, you'll need these. And the geometry has all been figured out for these are a bonus in the kit. Complete instructions, of course. You wouldn't, you'd be lost at first. You have complete instructions. With photographs and lots of it to help you understand and to help you trim the transmission, trim and grind on the engine block a little bit, how to make the cut in the cross member. Here's important information. Here's the Honda K-Swap motor mount kit that I buy. This motor mount kit you need to buy to go with my kit. They work together and I use and repurpose all of these mounts in this kit here so you know what to buy and of course everyone knows you need this motor mount here to do any case swap so that guarantees that your job is going to be successful and you feel great about it because you know from beginning to end you're very confident that your build is going to come out so it's going to be successful like this car this is a 1997 the only one in the country I've been driving it around the block, just getting it run, running and ready to tune. This is what you will have. This is a huge horsepower K-Swap build. Hard to see anything in here. I understand that because it's, it's finished. So what we're going to do is look at the bottom. The bottom is a good chance to look and see what what it's like. Look how huge this transmission is. Here we are at the bottom of the car. There's one of the mounts, how it works. We go back and you can see the transmission is a perfect fit. It's only one half inch lower than the oil pan of the engine. That's great. I'm running a Volkswagen radiator and you should too. It's located notice in front of the radiator cross member. Volkswagen 1994 to 1999 Volkswagen 2.4 liter radiator <clears throat> works perfect. Put it in front of the cross member. Here's some more goodies. There's a launch mount goes right in the back to prevent wheel hop and to se securely hold this engine. There's the axles. It's a good axle angle just like a Honda comes out and I've got all new brake components on the car. See how I'm running lugs. So I want people to understand what this is and how easy it really is to build this kit. Here's part of the Hasbro motor mount kit that you need purchase to do this swap. This is moved forward with some, put some notches in this, some slots, and one and a quarter inches. The engine is an inch and a quarter forward. 
So you simply use all these parts from my, my kit along with the Hasbro kit to make all the mounts in the car. There's the other mount in the rear. All huge three Hasbro mounts. You can't get any stronger than that. I want to quickly show you inside the car. You might wonder how your car is going to drive. The easiest part of the build is good. the best news of all. There's a couple of companies making a plug and play transmission controller for 4T65E now. That's amazing. So I have a B&M ratchet shifter in my car. It's all plug and play. Here it is right here, this little controller. And you just I have, get this. Wham, wham, wham. There you go. <clears throat> it's so easy to run the transmission after you've done your build is the good news. The transmission controller is made for it. It's plug and play. It's the easiest part of the whole build. That is amazing. So once you're done, it's nothing to hook your car up and make it run. And it'll be the fastest case swap horsepower for horsepower for any case swap car, manual transmissions. This is the fastest thing on the street with 100 horsepower less. You can beat cars with 100 horsepower more easily and gap them. Everybody knows an automatic transmission is faster than a manual and this is just proves it. So I hope I've done a good job to let you know what you're in for. Let's talk a little more. There is preparation. Cut a hole for the starter. Preparation. Trim the transmission a little bit in the back where these uh, lines are. Get, make that flat. The engine, the engine gets a lot of cutting and trimming. On the side, you cut off the VIN number plate and you start to cut and trim until the engine transmission is very close to the engine block. And once it fits on the adapter plate with the uh, transmission lineup pins, you're golden. It, it's, it's good. It does take some preparation, a lot of cut, cutting and a lot of grinding. You have to have patience is all I say. It's not an over not weekend build. But it's not complicated by any means for a transmission swap. I know it's just as easy as building any K swap. And the results would be terrific. You'll love your car. Anybody that ever won't believe what you've done, you'll look like the best fabricator in your entire group, your whole city. They won't believe what you've got and what you've done and how you were able to do it. So that's it for me. That's an introduction video. Uh, I want you to know exactly what uh, will need to be done to install this kit and really how easy it is. Um, very little fabrication for a transmission swap like this. And uh, I hope you consider this. Any race team or any any Honda enthusiast that wants the toughest, fastest Honda K-Swap out there, this is now available, believe it or not, and it's easily doable. So this is goodbye now from Super Swap. Good luck with your build.